Yes, we will find out indeed, here Between I, Alliance and OG. So, you know, Alliance coming in today, bringing in FNG back on the squad to see what he can pull off. From a, a position five, they're about to walk right they up. They are. Alliance, uh, they have the high ground. I'll set up with the two-man stun. Amar gets him the anchor smash, and it doesn't look like Alliance Rage is going to win this trade at all, as it will be OG taking the two kills, despite Alliance holding their position on the high ground and willingly preparing to take that fight. It does not go great for them. But it's a, it's a good build. This is a huge double wave. I think you want to pressure under tower here. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Leslau. No charge available. It's on cooldown. Aramis trying to step over to off up a stun. Well, I hope that you're arguing that will actually keep him safe, Leslau. Leslau to live, and with the rotation for Supreme, they might be able to find something in response of OG diving as deep as they were, and they do. They catch Tiger in the trees. They are able to punish OG there for that move. Totally for free. Forcing Supreme to make a rotation means that BZM gets some damage on this mid tower uh, with the catapult. So that's one of those things where, like, you do want to force those resources out. You do want to force that rotation. I see this attempted fight here. They're going to take it up to the high ground. Tiger room with the snowball leads over towards Supreme. BZM jumps off to a distance, hits back with a three man Sonic wave. It's enough to take down Supreme. Uh, Leslau charges over. They should lose FNG, but in turn, Misha will go down. Two for one. And of course, one that OG is happy to take. Alliance, they don't quite have the firepower to take down Tiger by the looks of it, as the two of them will have to split. In fact, Tiger, he's looking to chase. And the snowball, he'll be able to bring in BZM, close the gap. Another stun at the ready. BZM will have another blink in a second, though, and he's definitely eyeing up this next assassin, and he'll get it. Jumps one and a quick scream. OG end up claiming a third in that overall move. Bottom lane, Amar TP to what? <laughs> what? I mean, that was a very ballsy TP there from Amar. Was tanking the tower hits, and unfortunately for him, a little too much damage. Because he's holding on to, I think, two skill points at the moment, Amar. Yeah, he he does do that. It's, it's very odd. Uh, I'm excited to see this build in, in competitive. Because it's looked really good in pubs, from what I've seen. Or you can get like Aghanim Shard eventually, and uh, it, you're super strong. There we go, OG. The smoke, they're on the hunt for Nico Baby. They found him. Quick jump to the side. Nico Baby trying to get away from this. Well, FNG's the new focus, but Supreme, he's pummeling into Tiger. Tiger's able to take down FNG. Nico Baby maybe looking to jump back in with the help of Aramis, but no, he's, he's going to go for Tiger. Split for the rest of the team. Tiger will go down. Amar. That's the gush lead in onto Supreme, but no further catch. Pretty impactful, but there's, you know, there's enough of them with impact that maybe it... Well, the RNG balances it out. It balances out yeah. to a degree. On top lane. I'll find the jump on your Yuragi, but he has a BKB. Nico Baby's trying to finish him off, but he's already starting to lose damage to the static link. Jumps back in again, but he's not going to... Oh, finds him with that final crit, but already the damage has been done big time as BZM just swept around to the back lines, blew up the rest of Alliance. So, well, We'll still go the way of OG here with the, the Roshan and the Aegis. Uh, pick that up on Yuragi. I'll let this one go. Not interested in fighting until Nico Baby has at least his BKB. We'll be there in about a creep's time. Mid lane. Setups there with a quick sleep onto the Lina. And Mass TP's coming in. He has the BKB Supreme. He's going to go for the BKB TP out, but the grip's there. Misha puts a stop to his retreat. Gem pickup's going to do a lot against Alliance with the three invis that they'll look to play. Yeah, I like that too, in terms of uh, map control. Oh, Nika Baby, he's going to commit with the BKB onto Tiger. He's not quite doing enough damage, has to blink back to safety, will live there with the Essence Ring that he pops, but the BKB comes to an end, perfectly timed Ravage there from Amar to catch Nico Baby as his BKB duration ends. FNG tries to TP out, but they see him in the trees, they'll get him as well. Yeah, he's basically one-shotting him with the punch. Yeah. And uh, he needs to do that. I mean, the silencer is, is so good against Queen of Pain and the Bane that... Oh! I see Nico, baby. He's going to turn and take down Tiger, but the shards have trapped them in. Finally, they'll come to an end. Jump forward with the Sonic Wave. They'll burst through Supreme. And Aramis, Nico Baby's off to the side, but Amar's waiting, and he's got the Ravage again. As soon as the BKB ends, Amar ready to lock him down. Four dead on Alliance, as OG, they're just... And they're making it look very hard for Alliance. Now, we're seeing Alliance trying to make these moves, make these plays. Even there, sort of in, in Tiger's dying breath, causing issues with the shard that he was able to throw over. And, and then Amar, he just knew exactly where Nico Baby was going to try and run on his retreat. All right, Mantles. He's going back for the Mantles. Back for the we, Mantles. We saw that, though. We oh. saw that, dude. No, oh, yeah. But it's looking pretty good. It looks good. It looks good. I think this is something you want to you want to try at home if you're a Tide player. Yeah, th this is a build. Like, yeah. to, to be fair, it's, it's like an off-meta thing that 
only like really intense tide players will do. And uh, he's like, yeah, yeah, I'll just uh, I'll dip back, go for the refresher. BZM also plate mail, gonna die anyway. Oh, maybe Lance will see if they can try and get something more. Right, take it out the mid. Can they get anything whilst they're at five versus four? Still very hard. Jiragi and Amar. Not easy targets to go for. Beast, on the other hand, a little bit of a squishier one. They'll get the lead in with the ult. Oh, gee, they're going to look to stand their ground around that bank. Keep Misha safe. Misha's able to retreat. Supreme is in with the BKB. Laguna down onto Tiger. Tries to run him down. Tiger not going to quite get up. Finally falls there as Aramis gets him, but they've lost Supreme's life for it. Aramis not able to TP out either as Jurag already has too much damage built up. But still, you know, I, I think Amar will take literally zero damage from the tower. Yep, that's, that's zero. Oh no, sorry, he's taking like three damage from the tower. But immediately healing for it. That poor old tower just tickling the creeps. Yeah. Yeah. I think at this point he could maybe walk into the tier threes. Are they gonna try and go on him? Oh, and they're doing a pretty good job of it. They've taken him down. All right, I, I don't think Amar was pre prepared to die that quickly. Yeah, I cursed him. My, yeah, my, Alliance, they my throw feet. everything onto him. They are able to bring him down without any chance for a reaction under the cover of that global silence. He can get an eventual Silver Edge, Lena Silver Edge, Fan of Knives on um, PA, and, uh, you know, this was an old patch. Nyx would also have a break. Ah, yeah, I mean, it's true. Maybe, the, maybe the breaks will be the undoing for Amar. Maybe. Maybe. E even then, like... Oh, that's a big... Leslau just comes flying off the screen. Sets up for the two kills on Tiger and Misha. Leslau just out of nowhere. And he's ready for more. Charges over to Yuragi. They'll bring him down the once. That's the Aegis gone. BZM is going to jump in on the back lines. This refuge with the stun's out. Another charge for Leslau. BZM's out. And Yuragi, he's not got anybody to help him. They'll look to chase him down. He pops the BKB. Leslau in with the charge once again, offering up that control. Yuragi's trying to desperately get away from the two of them. Nico Baby will come in. Amar comes in with a ravage, holds back the three of them. They do turn, bring down Nico Baby. But you, you, you know that, that Leslau's going to keep his eyes open, see if he can find Yuragi. Yeah, he just needs to get vision. Lincoln's is broke. Look at the setup here. And right, Yuragi's just going to be dealt with straight away by Aramis. And now, break, break. hits in. Light Strike Array comes down. Amar, he's got a bit of life still going, but again, he is relatively on his own, looking to knock him back with the old charge over from Leslau onto the two of them. They've got to run. Back in with the Invis, but the dust will slow down Supreme. Not enough to stop Tiger from being Light Strike Raid. And Leslau, he's going to go past the tier two. Up to Amar, bullying the tie back to base. Easily one shot in creep waves. Oh, and we got Yuragi. Oh, nice jump for Nico, baby. He's away from the Razor. They didn't have the lockdown, and now the turnaround's here. They turn straight onto Yuragi. Yuragi's BKB is not going to save him. Yuragi's out. BZM jumps over, finds FNG Supreme, keeping himself hidden in the trees. Let's now in with the charge control. Over on Amisha, they take down the Bane, but they will lose Supreme. It's really difficult to deal with. And then also, the, the BKB piercing disable in the fights. Oh, Nico, baby. It's going to commit for Tiger. He's in. The Ravage comes out from Amar, catches the three of them on the back line. The Sonic waves over the first three Supreme and FNG. Simon, silence comes out for now. Nico Baby having to back off though with his BKB on cooldown and the damage will be there without coming to an end. OG, they'll happily turn and take the fight there. Alliance, they chose to, to initiate it there without jumping onto Tiger. Does not go great for them at all. Amar gets him with a fantastic ravage. The turnaround's there. I guess you're sort of falling for the bait there. Going a little too heavy in onto Tiger uh, whilst he was in that position where it was heavily likely that there would be backup waiting on that high ground around this Roshan area. We'll see, hopefully. There's a the jump. They get the jump straight away on a Supreme. They look to focus the leader. They've got it. Supreme does have buyback. So if he uses it over in the trees, they also catch out FNG. Now, FNG does not have the means to return to the game. He is gone for 70. No buyback for the silencer, so no potential global to threaten. OG here is OG. They look to finish off the f final set of racks. Let's see what Elias could do. Let's now. Toying with the idea of getting into that. BKB's off in time, Yuragi turning with a refresh, getting the ult off, jump up to the high ground, they're looking to get it onto Supreme, Supreme's away, or well, at least trying to with the Invis, but they're running him down, they take him out, Supreme, he's out for good. Nico Baby was able to get over the back lines, but they take out the two supports of, Alliance, of, of OG. And Les now, he's trying to go for BZM, he's going to need Nico Baby's help out, they want to try and turn and commit, Nico Baby able to dodge the Sonic Wave, but Les now not as much. So G. Look of an eco baby, the buyback comes in, quick jump stun, Aramis is able to catch BZM, the ult from Lesnar, they've taken out the quad. 
BZM will buy back straight away though. Blink forward, Juragi closes in, but um, Aramis has got buyback as well. Nico Baby back over towards the tide, but it's hard to punch into a mark. Nico's doing literally zero damage. That was a crit, and it looked like nothing. I'm um, OG, they, they've committed two buybacks, so they want to end the game. Do so while Supreme's out for 70. Lesnar's going to try and stop this. We've got FNG back in action with the global. Nico Baby commits. Aramis lines up the two man, turn the room on to BZM. They bring him down. That's BZM out for two minutes. Charge over onto Misha. They've caught the pain. Misha's ghosted to buy some time. Nico Baby's trying to split away from Yuragi in the static. Come on. He's just trying to end the game. He takes out the tier four. Oh my He's onto God. The He's just looking to close it up. Alliance, they've got four heroes alive, but can they stop this tide? They force him off to the side. Nico Baby commits with a BKB. They get him up towards the fountain. The breaks in. The old knockback. Yuragi's going to take over, try to end it all. As Amar goes down, Yuragi looks to close it. He'll be able to do so. GG is called. OG will close up this game one. But Alliance, they certainly gave them a very good fight in this first match. I wonder if in this game they're going to put the Grimstroke with the Wraith King uh, and then put Misha bot. Uh, both both lanes for the Grimstroke seem pretty good. Put the setup here. Okay. Into the EMP, the chase down of the Inks. Well, they're in range, they'll take it. First blood for Amar. Always has that nightmare, feels too threatened. And G actually focusing to swing back into the lane to Amar, but Amar's been good with these hoof stomps, stopping the charges each and every time. Mid lane, set up there. Aramis comes in to help out Supreme as they'll join forces to bring down BZM. Yeah, Nico, baby. I'm very happy though with the space that he's getting, the fact that it has only really been a mar down here recently. Misha been make, making the moves all, across the map. You see the bottom lane, they'll bring in BZM, they want to try and take down Nico Baby, put an end to this area of comfort that he's had. And won't have enough burst with the EMP as Nico Baby will be okay. And Lesnar is looking to turn things with the Valpa Supreme as well. BZM knocks them back with a tornado. Goes for the Ghost Walk TP, but the vision is there. Sentry down as well as a tree. They put a stop to BZM's TP and take his life. Just ends when you cast it on the Spirit Breaker. Oh, they're actually smoking two Omar. Yeah, they want it. Try and take down Nico, baby. Nico, baby has got the open. He, he might not get a chance to get it off. The grip from Misha locks him down. No chance for a reaction there from Nico, baby. It's OG. They take him out and, of course, will slow down that Battle Fury that he is looking to, to try and finish it off. We'll see in the mid. Move being made from, well, at least it was from Alliance, but OG, they turn it around. FNG caught deep behind enemy lines. Just because he's the only hero that can really take those super quickly. Maybe, maybe Wraith King. I mean, he's having a decent game, but it's a little slow. There we go. Top they go. Looking for Tiger, but then... A little careful about how they go for it. Lesnar will now recommit. Stampede's at the ready. OG's coming over. Alliance, they've got to back off for trying to kill the support potentially. As Misha, he holds back Lesnar. FNG is in with the ult, but this is a lot of time for OG to come in. Jump ball from Amar. In with the Hustop double edge. Takes out FNG. The Soulbind linking up the two of them. Lesnar trying to run. He cannot get out the reach of Amar as it's double kill for this Centaur. They should be able to clean up Nico Baby as well. Set up there for Amar to pick up the triple. I mean, you could feel the hesitation there from Alliance. It was as if they knew that it wasn't going to be a good move to make. Uh, and indeed, it certainly was, and cost them three lives diving behind the tower in a tower that still stands. Control. That move just hurts big time for Alliance, especially when it, it does involve Nico Baby's troll, a troll working on a Battle Fury. He gets slowed down. They can't afford to have any more of those moves. A and it was Leslar's nighttime as well. And midnight Misha. He's ready with the control. Grips there, looking down onto the Queen of Pain. The six well follow up. Deafening Blast crashes through the two of them. They're taking out Supreme. FNG's not able to escape this Aramis either. As the silence is out, three more kills for OG. We may have had a bit of a back and forth game in game one, but this game two, it's starting off pretty painfully here for Alliance. Both the Centaur and the Wraith King, particularly if both of these heroes have good games, they have the ability to close out this game pretty early. And I hear Lalas has nothing, no nighttime. He is very dead. Back over on the bottom side of the map. OG, they've invaded Alliance's jungle. And they, they may just take some more kills here. FNG taken out by the crit and the EMP. They're trying to fight Yuragi. I mean, Yuragi has got reincarnation, so he really doesn't care too much at all about Alliance's three heroes here, and they know it. They, they'll step away. 
three-man ult from Queen of Pain. Uh, you know, really good bushwhack. Like, they, they need to combo their spells. On mid. Well. Nico Baby's trying to push out far in the mid lane. They just jump straight on him. The map is not a safe place right now for this troll. Yeah, this is this is oppressive, man. Uh, they they uh, they have the heroes to deal with all of the alliances. Stop. I mean, these moves from OG, they're just not slowing down. As soon as they catch Nico Baby in the mid lane, they catch Supreme up top. It's getting pretty bloody here. Yeah, this is rough. OG with the smoke. Ready to find more kills, more action. Alliance themselves smoking up, but it does get put to an end. They are going to be found. The two of them caught by the Soulbind. Double Nightmare. FNG will try and knock back Misha. BZM steps in with the EMP. They have caught Tiger with the Root. So they're finding at least a trade, but it isn't going to be a favorable one overall, as it will still be Alliance losing to BZM with the double. That could have been much worse for Alliance. Uh, Misha was trying desperately to get that double grip off on the Soulbind. Uh, however, FNG was just sitting on him and bashing and bashing and bashing and being a pain in the ass. So good positioning from FNG. Uh, unfortunately, you know, 12k gold deficit. It doesn't matter that much. But uh, yeah, that could have been super devastating for Alliance. Much more than what we just saw. Oh, two two taken in the mid. Blink dagger money done for Yuragi. FNG knows not to start a fight here. I feel like soon we're going to see a gem pick up from OG just to limit Alliance's vision. The only reason Alliance can comfortably move out into their jungle is because they have some vision. They're probably not looking to fight. They're just going to be farming. We can see some Forge Spirit scouting to kind of equivalently oppress. I keep saying that word. There we go. They've got the jump onto Leslau. They want to get rid of that pesky Night Stalker. They'll manage to do so. Leslau down. Uh, all hit from Aramis comes flying through onto Misha, but it isn't enough damage to take him out as FNG loses his life in his efforts to get to the back lines. Now back up with the push. Just 20 minutes in and another tier two set yeah. to fall here to the push of OG. Yeah, OG can kind of just run around now, take every every tell. Are we going to see the deny come out here? We are. Yeah, yeah, okay. So he had 130 HP, down to 70. <laughs> so let's see, how much would... Three... I think he hit him twice as well, right? If he did huh. a couple of hits on Exor. Yeah, yeah. I might have just done it. <laughs> so the Exor gives 10 damage per instance, so he'd have 30 more damage. It would have been close. It, he would No, he would have killed well, he him, Owen. He would have killed him. Yes. Oh, back in action, Supreme got caught out. I don't have the quap for this defense. He did, yeah. And they've certainly got the push. The four Spirits, Deso, these buildings don't stand a chance. Tier three's down. The Rex as well. I feel like this game is more in line with what people probably would have expected given the results of both of these teams yeah. for this season. No, this it, it's, it's been a rough season for, for Alliance and yeah, OG. They, they've had these explosive games. Yeah, they have. So, you know, to be to be expected to a degree. Uh, it's nice to see Alliance putting up a fight in some of their games, at least. There are, there are glimmers of hope. Same with Cool Guys. I feel like in, honestly, both of the regions that we're covering, there are glimpses. There's no team, like, without a single glimpse of hope, which is, which is good to see. Not a glimpse of hope in this game, though. No. It doesn't look to be. That's, uh, that's the carry going down there. Oh, my. Oh, and a quick jump and a hoosh stop. And Lelis is dead. Okay, oh, wraparound play. Maybe they get five. Misha. They're gonna see if they can get the bane. They do connect with that hoofing cop with the soul. Oh, the double out. grip. They can't even quite get Misha. Misha walks away. They, okay. They've had enough. Okay. They've had enough. They'll tap out. GG is cool.